يسوع العشرة معاك أحلى عشرة The people living in what was once known as Midian are to be part of the great ingathering of God's people in the end times. The Spirit of God through Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 60, A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come, they shall bring gold and frankincense, and shall bring good news, the praises of the Lord. The ancient Midianites were well known to the Israelites. They shared the same father, Abraham. Midian was Abraham's son by Keturah, Abraham's wife after Sarah died. Midian had five sons who were the progenitors of the Midianites. The exact borders of Midian are unknown. Midianites appeared to have been nomads for at least part of their history, and the land they occupied changed through time as they expanded their territory through conquest, as they were displaced and as they were conquered themselves and moved with their flocks in search of water and pasture. But the Midianite heartland has been traditionally identified as being east of the Gulf of Aqaba, in and around the Midian Mountains, in the northwestern part of Saudi Arabia. The Benai Atiyah tribe currently lives in what is the ancient heartland of Midian and comprises the largest part of the population in this area. They were once predominantly nomadic Bedouins, raising camels and sheep, but now most are settled in towns and villages. Tabuk is the provincial capital and the largest city in the region. Midian figures prominently in God's redemptive history. Midian is where God revealed himself to Moses in a bush that was burning yet not consumed. Here, God revealed his divine nature. I am who I am, revealed his divine name, Yahweh, the Lord, and began to work through Moses to rescue his people and lead them out of Egypt. After God delivered the Israelites from slavery in Egypt, they returned to the mountain of God in Midian, where God made a covenant with them giving them the Ten Commandments, the laws, and instructions for the building of the tabernacle. As described in Isaiah 60, the people living in what was once known as Midian are to be part of the vast number of worshippers who will come to Jerusalem to worship the Lord in the end times. As true worshippers, they will bring the very best they have, precious gifts befitting their king. They will bring valuable young camels, the most prized of their herds. They bring good news, the praises of the Lord, with thanksgiving and joy. They rejoice in their salvation and worship their Lord and Saviour. Lord, would you make your covenant of peace through Jesus Christ with the Benai Atiyah and the other people now living in what was once known as Midian. Lord, send labourers into this harvest field to be your witnesses. Confirm their words of truth with signs and wonders as you did for Moses. And Lord, we know in the future they will willingly bring their gifts to you. Lord, may they come to know you today, making their hearts ready for this future day. Would you please join in and pray for the nations listed in Isaiah 60, verses 6 and 7. You can learn more about them from this link.